This is a hand slide exercise called the C squirt. We set up with the feet roughly hip width distance apart and a gentle bend in the knees. This allows the pelvis to remain soft and the belly to remain soft. The movement begins with the eyes. As the eyes look down, the hands travel from the fronts of the thighs down the middle of the thighs, so the insides of the thighs, towards the insides of the knees. As this happens, the knees soften, creating a little bend into flexion, and the ankles also move into dorsiflexion as the shins shift forward towards the toes. As the hands find the midline of the knees, the eyes begin to look upwards. This will draw the hands towards the fronts of the knees and then again to the outsides of the knees before sliding up the thighs as the body moves back to the standing position. There's a gentle extension through the spine as well as the extension through the knees as we stand. We repeat the motion again, diving down through the eyes and allowing the spine and the rest of the body to follow. As we meet the knees, the eyes once again draw up and then once again, the body follows. This creates a continuous cresting wave, diving down and forward through flexion and rising through a very natural extension. In this exercise, we're forming an awareness of the eyes and their relationship to the head and their relationship to the rest of the body. So noticing how as the eyes move, the rest of the body can follow along. We're also working on developing our understanding of the weight of the head and how that relates to the movements in the rest of the body. So using the weights of the head to help to guide motion through the rest of our structure. The hands sliding along the thighs help to give us tactile feedback and inputs. It helps to develop an awareness of the length and shape of our limbs, as well as to maintain a sense of timing. By sliding the hands, we can search for a smooth and even rhythm or tempo and this will help us to understand exactly which parts of the body we may be favoring more than others. We search for the kind of timing where it's difficult to say which limb leads the action. Although we focus on the eyes controlling or leading the movement, we search for a timing that seems very natural and integrated.